But yeah, it was another thing that with this with this series and a lot of other series, kind of like it's actually like Final Fantasy in this respect of the soundtrack, where like Mass Effect One had a great soundtrack. I thought it was the one that fit the best with the game, um, in the series in general. Um, Mass Effect Two had an even better soundtrack. It really was really great. It didn't necessarily fit with the game as much, but what the fuck? It wait. Does this have my saves? Shit. My shepherd is an... Wow. What an ugly bastard. Jesus Christ. Was this you trying to create a uh, charismatic waifu attractor? What is that guy... What did that guy look like? He looked like, um... You know what? Know he what looked kind of like... My Start first new career. Like the first, the first job I ever classified had. Classified top like secret. It's classified and top secret. Um... But yeah, just the soundtracks for this like just got better. Like Mass Effect 3 was Mass Effect 3 first of all was not really a bad game in terms of how the game like the game was functional, albeit really buggy, kind of like the first game. First game is very buggy, but the story is really interesting and it's functional. That's kind of with with BioWare unless it was the Old Republic. The Old Republic was not functional at all. Do I just want to go with Stock Shepard? Actually, I'll probably go with like, a He looks like a he looks like a girl. What the fuck? I don't think he looks like a girl. Look at his body. His body looks like a woman's. I mean, it's also just because it's, like, kind of tight and not really... I don't know. Anyway, enter new ID. Fuck it. Let's see. Um, I actually always liked Femship better just because I think that um, Jennifer Hale did a much better job than whoever the fuck voices Male Shepard. Yeah, do feel Male Please Shepard. log though. in to access your profile. First name... Phyllis. <laughs> I think that's a future name. Um, I really don't think so. But anyway, um, yeah, it's just kind of a thing with video games now, is just Warning. soundtracks are really, really good. Detected. I have not played a game in a really long time with a bad soundtrack. Or even an okay one. They just, did they're all good. Like, yeah, like, did you ever play, um, Nier? I didn't. I don't. I, Nier was... I don't. It, if it really wasn't, if it was not on PC, I didn't play it because I don't have a Confirm console right now. All right. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. So spacer colon spacer. If I can remember this. Oh yeah, you just you live on ships and stuff, and this is the only one where your parents are not dead. I'm pretty sure. Uh, um, you actually have a conversation with your mother, I think, um, which was kind one. of neat. Um, and then there's colonist. Uh, and your yeah, dead parents, probably, and then orphan. So, yes, dead parents, probably. So, yes, dead parents. Yeah, so spacer. I was like spacer anyways. Cause... And then there's soul survivor, which was basically you had a horrible situation where you were the only survivor, and you have survivor's guilt and whatever. Also known as this choice doesn't matter at all here. Actually, none of these choices really matter, besides when at the beginning, um, the guy who does the Army and Navy commercials uh, names off all of them. Um... <laughs> So we will do ruthless. What is ruthless? Ruthless. It's um, that's just like your personality. It, it does. It does not matter at all. It really doesn't. Mm -hmm. That's like three things where, um, Kalisa Benson Al Jelani. I do remember her name. I just because you have to punch her three times throughout the series, so I remember people's names. I punch. Um, <laughs> basically, uh, she. Uh, she'll name it. She'll ask you a question about it, and then you can punch her in the face, I think. Um, anyway. Oh. Uh, let's see. We're gonna go with Manguard, because um, there is nothing more Manguard. Let's see. Change appearance. We'll go with, um... Cycle presets. Ugh. Yeah, I'll just go with stock, whatever. I don't even care. Profile reconstruction complete. Phyllis Shepard. She don't look like a Phyllis. Mm -hmm. Once you confirm your character, blah blah blah. Don't worry, confirmed. I have save editors. And it saved that character <laughs> I had, but not that I had gotten to insanity mode. But I wouldn't play insanity anyways, because it's not very fun. Um, <laughs> auto level up, off, yes. I hate games that have difficulties that are like eight difficulties. It's like, give me four, or maybe five, and that's about it. Also, if you're, going, if you're going to have difficulties, make them fun. That's all I'm saying. Or just don't have difficulties, well, and don't make Sharon? your game to cater to they multiple difficulties. Just be like, this is the game. 
That's what I liked about the Souls no, games, is it's just Hammer. like, nope, this is it. Both there's no easy, made. there's no hard, this is the game, she we made it like this. Because then it makes it so that they just don't have to focus on that shit. Done. They're like, or oh, even, um, we just make our game for this, and this is when you play it, this is what you do. The galaxy? And see, the this PS2 is the PS2 game the kind of for King Kong, that was also, it didn't have any difficulty, it was just like, if you were better at it, then it would get harder. And that was kind of cool. But, like, it wasn't really something you could notice unless you played the game through more than once and you did bet. I played an educational game years ago that did that. So, in oh, the year game? 2148, explorers on Mars discover the remains of an ancient space faring civilization. In the decades that followed, something, 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 civilizations of the galaxy call it Mass Effect. Mass Effect. Mass Effect! Yes! Trademark. That's not Mass Effect, that's just a, like a planet. That's another planet, it's like Jupiter or something, I don't know. There's the Normandy. The Arcturus Prime Again. relays in range. No relation to uh, transmission sequence. to the beach. Really? No relation. I don't know if it was oh, yeah, a reference at some point. Earth, I don't think it has anything to do with it, I think we it just sounded connected. cool. Calculating transit mass and destination. And there is Seth Green. The relay is hot. And there's Where Shepard's ass. Now? Okay. All stations secure for you know what? This. Why do I feel like I've seen this? More, like, I mean, I know I've seen this, but wasn't the f second one start kind of like this? It starts kind of like it. Yes, that's the point. And uh, then your ship gets shot, and Shepard yeah. dies. And then they like make they like put him back together, but he's it, not really a cyborg. I never really understood no, he that. is a cyborg. They just didn't like replace his brain or anything because that's what actually Miranda had suggested in two that your brain be replaced or that they have a control chip put in your brain. And the elusive man just went and told her like, "Are you a fucking idiot? Like what what would be what would we be reviving him for if we were just going to make him into a mindless drone? Are you stupid?" <laughs> which is your, which, is very which smart. should be your reaction to everything Miranda says in Mass Effect 2 is, are you stupid? Do you have brain problems? It usually was. Such as, hey, we should, oh, fun fact. I'm just going to say this right now. I don't know if it's just, I hate that guy. it might just be for Garrus when we see him. I think it's for a couple of the Turians, though, including this guy. Um, what They remember just said his name. I don't remember. Um, anyway, I mean, he dies look, really early, so... Spoiler alert. Nobody gives a shit. Um, <laughs> That's incredible. It's, I think it's specifically Garrus, but it might be, because if you saw his paintings on his face were really, really, like, jaggy. Like, they were just jaggies all over the place. It looked really weird. Yeah. Um, that is because, I don't know if it's just for him, it might just be that, because this is, like, I don't know. Um, for Garrus, though, I know this is the way it is. Uh, am I going Paragon or Renegade for this? Uh, if you're ruthless, right, then Fuck go it. Paragon. That's yeah. Enough. I mean Renegade, Renegade yeah. Sorry, Commander. So anyway, um, Garrus actually, there is the, there is a texture that's a high res texture for his face. Uh, however, the game does not register it for some reason, and it would require a multiple gigabyte patch, as Bioware has said, to actually implement it. Also known as we're lazy and we don't feel like putting it in. <laughs> Even though it would take two seconds, and you could do it in text mod. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the call room for a debrief. Yeah, that's only for Garrus. I think so. I think the other ones just look like shit. You made him <laughs> mad. Hey, you pissed the captain off, and now I'm gonna pay for it. Don't blame me. The captain's always in a. She's bad gonna be uh, the badass. I mean, also who in, only fucks certain people. Well, and this is another thing that I liked about Mass Effect One a little better, at least from what I remember. Um, Renegade in Mass Effect One is more like a snarky kind of like. You're not an asshole, you're just snarky, and you kind of just you're get to the point. You're snarky and sarcastic, and you get to the point. Yeah, and in Mass Effect 2, it's like, okay, Shepard's just a fucking douchebag now. And I should yeah. go talk to my people, if you want me to, I don't really, yeah. Go talk to him. Does it get you anything, or is it just... Like um, I think it gets you, like, a few Renegade and Paragon points, maybe, but it's also just kind of interesting to talk to them. I heard you Sounds arguing. like you don't trust Arturian. Uh, this is the thing I hate about this Sorry, game, is they don't tell you exactly what you're going to say when you select the options. But you have to yeah, they tell you just kind of like... The they tell you a vague... It. They tell you something kind of vague about it, and, and I know that becomes a huge problem in Mass Effect 3, because there are times where it's like, oh, I'll choose the 
re renegade option because it's just I tell them off and then you fucking kick somebody in the face and it's like wait no I didn't want to do that <laughs> I just wanted to tell them to go away just do your Anchor's job on a need to know basis Presley just follow the orders you're given Understood, Commander. See here, it's like, oh yeah, she's a commander, and she order, she gives orders like commander, and they're like, yes, commander. And in two, it's like, you know, fuck you, okay, just do your fucking job, you piece of shit. And they're like, oh geez, Shepard, God, I mean, sorry. <laughs> that is true. What do you think, Hello, what sir, about to die in the next mission. Too long, will we? I'm itching for some Spoiler alert, Jenkins. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Obviously your not, Lever Jenkins, because he lived. I think. Up crew members in the infirmary. Oh yes, and this is. Uh, I'll just say it she later. Li she lives into the second one. Part of the job, Doc. Marines are meant to fight. No, she lives. We're done. I'm talking yeah, about Jenkins. Yeah, Jenkins, yeah, Jenkins dies in five minutes. I've seen my share of combat, <laughs> but it's like literally about five combat. minutes or so. You could both take a lesson from the captain. I always like. Combat, did they fix? The did they make this any better in the other ones? I don't remember. Sorry, but like Doc, the hair, it always looks like it's just like a helmet they I've wear on their head. Like this before, not one with a Gets a little better, but it's still Bioware, who's been you know. Reusing models and stuff from fucking Knights of the Old Republic for ten years, so yeah. It's been too long since I played it's the second one, mission. and I never played the third one. So. Any problems? Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on tour. I like how she's going around talking to people, and they're like, "Hey, Captain Lee," and she's just like, "Do your job. Do. Just mm -hmm. do it." I mean, I know I started the conversation. This is about but... personal glory, Corporal. We have a job to do. Don't do anything stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not gonna screw this up. Five minutes later, he Captain's screws it up. For me. Goodbye, Commander. Renegade plus two. Okay. Also, the walk cycles in this kind of look like you're skiing from the back. Like a little bit. It does. <laughs> swish, swish, swish. <laughs> Commander Shepard. Oh, yes, nice. Wait, you get here first. Will give us a chance to talk. Yes, he does. His face looks very jaggy. Except you, I can't remember. When we see Garrus, you'll see his face looks awful. Like if you didn't remember. Um, so where's Captain, Captain Anderson? Captain said he'd meet me here. He's on Bitch. his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. And they have neon lights to replace these ones. They're about to go out. I don't know why I have these <laughs> in my suit. They just give away my position. What am I doing with my life? Yeah. I'm a marine, not some tourist on vacation. What was Eden it's Prime again? Than just a Eden Prime's a, it's a settlement. Isn't it, Shepard? A human oh, settlement, Eden specifically, a as he is saying people. right here. A perfect little world on the edges of your territory. Mm. Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Is that are you threat? trying to scare me, Spectre? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? This guy's a badass. I think it's about time we told the commander... Yeah, Nihilus is actually kind of cool. Too bad he dies. Mission is far more than a yeah. simple shakedown run. That's obvious. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we need to... Hi, Army and Navy guy. I don't like being kept in the dark, Captain. This comes Did I mention he, the guy... This voice actor has a role as a policeman in the movie Smiley? research team on Eden Prime. Unearthed some kind of really? during an excavation. Did you ever watch that awful movie where the phrase "I did it for the lulls" is said in almost every scene because it's about funny internet memes? What else can you tell me? Smiley was. This is big. Yes. The last time humanity made hmm. a discovery like this. Uh, but it jumped there's just a part I do, where I didn't years. see most of the movie, but I did see that part, and I do recognize his voice now. Yeah. We need to bring the beacon yeah, back it, to the. Yeah, there's just the part she goes into the police station. Obviously and this, this guy is there. Interest, this, this smiley. <laughs> it's just this guy, and I'm space. just like, wait, were you? Did you need extra money? What were you? What were you doing in this movie? How much did they could? How much could they have paid you? How much money did this movie cost? I didn't even look it up. I don't really want to know. Could you look it up right now? We can handle this. Yeah, look, it up. Well, look up, smiley, how, look up right? how much smiley costed to make. There's I need more. to know how much money was put into that, now so I can know how how me. miserably they lost all of it. He's also here to Alright, I'm gonna do it. Since when do like, we it was a good spectrum? it was a good premise and it could have no, been a really good movie. It was not it, a right? good premise, fuck you. It was the a terrible movie in every aspect. There is nothing good about that movie. Humanity wants a larger role. Uh, like a person who wears house. somebody else's skin they in his face and it's all carved out like a smiley, that could have been a scary movie. Um, kind of, but it's sorta like 
we made this monster. It's actually, yeah, it's actually exactly what happened with um, the game Cry of Fear. It's like, I made all these monsters that I really like. I'm going to make a game to show them off, but then just kind of forget about the making the game fun part and just have the monsters in it. And that it was like, oh, well... There's no substance in the movie, and like it's cringeworthy to listen to anything future. anyone says this ever isn't about you. in the whole movie. Humanity needs this. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Uh, is Smiley like the first of several missions together? <sighs> you be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Here, let's try this. Now let's accompany you to observe. I'm ready to go. Just give the word. Trying Captain. to fucking find it, but it's not on like Captain, we got a Wikipedia problem. or anything. What's wrong, Joe? Good. Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You I mean, the thing this. is, but it's not telling me the price. Right up on screen. Now I have to like. No, every single time. Get down. Huh, that's a funny picture of a uh, mushroom cloud. Hmm. <laughs> Smiley is a low-budget film independently produced by Michael Gallagher. I hope He's Michael best Gallagher known work died. Various episodes of Totally Sketch on YouTube. Uh, let, just tell me how much money the entire thing cost. I I can't find it. It's not, it, it doesn't say it. Here. Okay, that's... It just says the running time and who it was distributed by. If it costed more than ten dollars, I'm gonna laugh. Ten dollars. That's how much it could have costed to get those actors, except for. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. It was also a movie where Shane Dawson was in, and I really hope that that ruined his that and everybody cool. else's careers in that movie. Out, I genuinely Captain, do. No I hope it's just. I hope whenever they go to do anything else, Take us in, Joker. the person Take us they're they're interviewing this with, they're like, "Oh well, this looks good." And oh, a small you were in Smiley. Oh. Without drawing attention, it's and they just tell you to leave. <laughs> I hope that happens. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. <laughs> Except for you, Army and Navy guy, you're all right. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up. You're okay. Going in. I just don't wonder what you were doing there. Yeah, no, I can't find the cost. <laughs> anyway, we're about to go Aging to the planet. Systems. Okay, go to I'm coming Prime. back. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. Okay. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. What about survivors, drop Captain? Point one. What about the survivors? You coming with us? I move faster on my own. <laughs> Those eyes for He also, he he also gets He'll killed faster on his own. Otherwise, I want radio. He does everything faster <laughs> on his own, really. Understood, Ready yeah. enable, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. Can we trust him? The few are way strong. The Alliance. Oh, and here we go. I'm sure everybody who ever did a Let's Play of this fucking game made that joke, by the way. What joke? Just made jokes about the Army Navy guy. Like, I, I know they did. There's no way they didn't. Oh yes, and then space is select stuff. <clears throat> I have to say, that's that's something that seems to just always usually improve. Is and that guy's dead. Um, basically, uh, the HUD in this is kind of eh, it's not bad, but it definitely got better in two. It didn't change that much, but it got better. I also know that there's there's a lot more bugs in this game than there were in two. Well, not really. I mean, there's more like action within the game guns, but there's like the same amount of skins and everything. Well, no, because like the, the actually the there's the, the same bugs skins. In this one, it was just kind of like by walking and doing whatever, but in the other one, you had to try a little harder to actually find them. Mm -hmm. Usually, well, spamming like. Like, you know that bug that's in two where, my like, if you, you'll get on top of a box, L. and then you can't move? What button did it say I have to press to put away my weapon? I don't remember. That's, that's I the... I would imagine H. Oh, Q. Okay. I pressed H and it didn't work, but it's Q. Um, oh, it's Q? Yeah, Weird. anyway. Uh... And that exploded. After a while. What was I gonna say? Alright, Jenkins, on my Q, get yourself killed. On my mark. 
On my mark, hold. Hold. Okay, go. Get yourself killed, Jenkins. This is what you were born to do. I think this is where he dies. Oh, crap. Did I yep, get yep, he runs down? ahead and gets shot up immediately. Does not even fire a shot. Good job, Jenkins! You're great. I love you. Also, your mic's gone really weird. Is it? Oh, there it goes. You're back. Oh, weird. You're back and you're good. And spend a talent point and with Vanguard, and then we can get. Oh man, I don't think I got the right ones. I think this one doesn't have peanut butter in it. Oh. That's terrible. Well, dicks. That's just horrible. I'm just what are the Vanguard abilities again? Um, it's stuff. Like, you get shotguns and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Whatever. Um. Oh, yes, and then Caden has decryption, which is really good. Like, he, well, he just has, like, a bunch of shit that's just really useful for, like, he's basically a skill monkey. That's what he is. Okay. Barrier. There we go. If I remember correctly, he's kind of a skill monkey. I know that, actually I would say a bunch of them are, like any of the tech people, you basically bring them for the fact that they're skill monkeys. Except personally I always brought uh, Rex and Garrus, because they're both pretty mm -hmm. awesome guys. And this game overall had a kind of more interesting loot system than the other, uh, other two games. Um, Although, Mass Effect 2's changes weren't horrible, like, it was simplified to be kind, like, to being kind of annoying, but not to the point where it was terrible. And then what do I do to apply Jetamel, uh, MIDI gel? What do I press? Fuck. I can't remember. I don't think you understand how disappointed I am in myself right now. <laughs> what? Oh, it's F. Okay. Why are you disappointed in yourself? Because I tried to get those Austin cheese cracker things, but I got the cheese crackers with cheddar cheese on the inside instead of peanut butter, and now I'm very upset. There's a mushroom cloud coming at us. Oh man. Why? Look at her. Tell her to stop. There's that mushroom cloud again. <laughs> Just. <laughs> I always thought it was funny that the first female soldier you meet in this fucking game has a pink, uh, suit. For some reason. I guess because that's just what they felt like, uh, coloring it that day. I mean, you can also get a pink suit, it's pretty great. And what's that? I think I have, like, a thing that... You know, I don't want to put my weapon away. Shepard, don't. Please. I think I have, like, there's... Oh yeah, I don't have it yet, no. For shotguns, you get this ability that makes it so, um... You shoot, like, Gunner this Chief big ball instead of your shotgun blast. Huh. I need a status report, now. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. I used to absolutely to despise call, Ashley. I still kind of do. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Um, I usually or get her killed. Kind of She's location? just kind of whiny I and annoying. Until you yeah, talk to her a lot, and then she starts to kind of get a little better. They must have come for the beacon. Also, there are just the like site is close, just over there the are more interesting squad mates. There. It's that simple. It's like, oh well, who would I want to bring? The the boring human, or the fucking magical alien people? Like, I, why would I not bring the aliens? They're more interesting, and actually do better things than her. Lieutenant Alenko and I will take care of this. <laughs> Let me come with you, ma'am. The Geth slaughtered my unit. Give me a chance to get even. She knows the area, Commander. And we could use the extra firepower. I like here it's literally yes, yes, and well, okay. Commander, you give the orders and I'll follow them. Move that is Mass Effect in a nutshell, actually, right there. Yes, yes, and okay. Yeah, it's yes, yes, and well, I mean... Okay. Sure. But I'm not happy not? about it. <laughs> I'm gonna let you do it anyway. Let's see, I had... This is better damage, so I will take it. Fuck it. 
Oh well, I guess I'll keep these just for when I'm fucking starving or something. Let me get my pistol out. And then when you get to Mass Effect 2, um, any class that has the, uh, what is it, the, the, um, what's it's, the SMGs actually become pretty deadly, and then when you get, um, when you get the DLC that has, uh, Kasumi in it, the, uh, I'm pretty sure that the SMG you get from the Kasumi DLC is actually one of the best weapons in the entire game. I remember correctly. Like, it is so accurate all the time, no matter what, and has such a high fire rate that it actually beats out a lot of the, um, assault rifles. It's really weird. That is weird. Like, I just remember it being better in pretty much every way. Also because you almost never ran out of ammo for it. There was that, too. Their DLC always seems this to just be kind of, like, the beacon was right here. I don't know. Must have been moved. Just things Bio that you shouldn't have. I mean, it wasn't not fun. It Maybe was just kind of like it was just really good. Uh, other than that, though, like the DLC for Mass Effect Two was actually pretty interesting. Mass Effect One's DLC sucked. It, it really did. It was just crap. Let's get moving. <laughs> I never got the, mass, the DLC for it's Mass Effect Two. Well, because except none of, for you, you, except for you wouldn't who's have the guy because, with the scar. Uh, that was for, yeah, in Mass Effect 2, that was, uh, Zaid, because Zaid was free. I want to check it out. Yeah, that's Probably the only one I got from Mass Effect 2. Mm. I'm gonna try like, shooting things with the assault rifle, even though I have no, uh, or, that, that is the sniper rifle, where's the assault rifle? There it is. I have no proficiency with it, so it just kind of goes everywhere. <laughs> it's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. I do like how it gives you the option, though, to do it, even if you're untrained, kind of like how Deus Ex did. Well, in this, like, you have unlimited ammo, so there's never a reason you would really want to. It's just sort of like, you can't... Like, look, I am literally in front of it, and I'm not hitting it. That is how inaccurate I am with it. Look, look, Why look, are you, are you seeing this? an ancient race of people? They're not an ancient race of people, they're fucking zombies. Oh, wait, these aren't the... Dude, these are husks. Okay, Jesus Christ. This is literally impossible to do anything with this unless I'm point blank. Um, no, yeah, they're not Protheans. They are made by the Geth, but no, I don't know. It's, I it, forgot about that. I, didn't, I wasn't looking at the name. I was just like, oh, they are all blue and Now we and play glowing. Frogger. There we go. Humans. Thank the maker. Oh, that's really cool. Why Hurry, didn't they keep that shit? The door. Yeah, I don't know. They got rid of a lot of those mini games. The one in Mass Effect 2 is really boring. How did you it is. It's super shed? boring. We hid here during the attack. In this, th some of I can't remember which ones were good. I know the Frogger yes, one was actually kind of fun. Uh, earlier this morning, Manuel and I stayed behind. Let's see. When the attack came, I don't remember what else there was. Them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity has ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Dude, where do you get off in saying shit like that? Jesus Please, Christ. Take us to the spaceport. <clears throat> He's just like, oh my god, we've been attacked by aliens. It's over. Night is falling. <laughs> the darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go like Why was it that all the, the DLC for Mass Effect 2 was just like, oh, if you want to know anything at all, or you want really cool over, weapons that are super, super good, then DLC, Wait, what here you go. What is this option? Say goodnight, Manuel. Time to shut you up. Shepard? I don't know. Shepard, what are you doing? I just need to know. You but Shepard, what? Oh my god, Shepard, what oh the fuck god. was that for? What did you do? Why did you do that, that Shepard? Well, now you have to remember his name because you punched him. He had it, it was coming. Only a his name's Manuel. Did something crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Manuel, I punched him I in the summer of right. 2003. The I love that. She's like, eh, he deserved it. And she's like, well, I guess you're right. I, I never saw that option before. <laughs> That's funny. Ever? No, I never... I guess I just don't usually, uh... I think I my playthroughs, I never actually went, like, full Renegade the whole time. But I'm just going Renegade oh, okay. for this. I'm also just, like, they didn't play Renegade, because I kind of, like, when in video games like this, I'm a huge moral fag. Mm-hmm. Did he... Always have that many Sarah. things on his face. Uh, yes, he did. Hmm. 
Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The council. So this is a fun fact about Saren. Um, if you'll notice, this whole time, it's like, the whole game, I was always just like, you guys are fucking idiots, how do you not notice that this guy literally has a geth arm and is made of cybernetics and has glowing blue scary eyes, and you never say anything about it. Uh, it turns out, when they were first making the game originally, he had a different model that was like a normal Turian body. Uh, and then at the end, there, you'll note it, I don't know if you ever know, finished Mass Effect 1, but near the end, you'll go and see Saren, and Shepard will react to him and go, Oh my god, Saren, what did they do to you? And implying that the, the, uh, the Reapers, like, had changed his body in some form, but he looks exactly the same as he's always looked. And you'll wonder, like, what the fuck happened? Like, you, you don't, you, it just doesn't make any sense. And, um... It turns out they were originally going to have him have a normal model throughout the whole game that would have looked, like, fine and normal. Uh... And, uh, they just didn't. They just decided not to. Yeah, so, but they left everything in? That yeah, they left the same stuff what in. they had planned? Yes. That's retarded. Yep, that's Bioware. So it's just so it's just a big, huge, like, a plot sort of thing that they were supposed to have, and then they, then they didn't do it, and they left it in? Yeah, kind of. So it's, like, them. really confusing. It's like, wait, what happened? Why Why are they so Well, no, yeah, it always really confused it. me, and I, I can't remember where I heard it. I looked it up somewhere, and it was, like, there was originally, he was supposed to have a different model. It would, And then when he got cybernetically enhanced by the Reapers, he would look like he does in the game. That's when that would happen. <laughs> And it's in once you know that it makes a lot more sense. Mm hmm But it's one of those things I'm going to assume you know that uh, Bioware was rushed at this point, and they were gonna do shit like that, and then just didn't get to. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't don't shoot! I'm one of you. I'm human. Award-winning animations. Mm hmm From our friends at Bioware. The way you hid behind those crates during the fight. Really you know what, even if they were rushed, it doesn't make any sense because they have other Turians that have, like, exactly the same kind of body, just different colors anyway. Mm -hmm. My name's Pal. Well, I mean, and, like, he's the main armor. antagonist of the game, you wouldn't want to give yeah, him, like, a generic it. look. But at the what same the time, about? they could have just modified it slightly and been like, oh yeah, make it look kind of menacing and have an evil guy, and then later on he looks super evil because he has the Geth arm and glowy blue scary eyes. That say, hey, look me in the eye and tell me, I'm evil. Just lucky you didn't see me behind the crates. Then what? Because I am. Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? All right, hold on. I have to take this call. I'll be right back. Headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's. Yeah, just skipped it, and he has nothing else interesting to say. That's not what I wanted. Is this my shotgun? Yes. Did. Control is crouch, it is crouch. enemies in Mass Effect 1 will just kind of like walk right behind everything and just go and hit you. It's pretty funny. Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to use Caden. I, I don't want to put away my weapon. I keep forgetting the controls of this fucking game. Okay. <clears throat> it's throw power. Oh, yeah, and this biotic powers were just way more useful in general.
also in Mass Effect 2 did the really stupid system of like, oh, whenever you use any power, it makes everything go on cooldown. Oh, dead. <laughs> uh, I walked right into that. This game also had a very silly death scene. Death screen, rather. Over there! But yeah, no, no, I, I didn't hate the changes made in 2 with the style and stuff. Like, I thought that in Mass Effect 1... Mass Effect 1 had my favorite style where it was a little more, like... I don't know what it was. I just I just liked it a little better, but these changes made within the games uh, later were not bad. I don't know if you noticed the difference in this and then two with the style of how the armors and everything were. So what happened while I was gone? I just killed stuff and I died once. <laughs> was that why I heard you yelling or something? No, I wasn't yelling. I was just talking. I actually forgot you went. <laughs> or didn't hear it or something. I don't know. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Say Leave right. no evidence that we were here. Set the charges. Stop looking at me like that with your with your flashlight face. <laughs> Get out of my face! It's the one thing that's bad about the Geth. I mean, among the other things that are bad about the Geth, but... They just stare at you with that... That single flashlight eye. It never stops. That is pretty bad. They always look disapproving. They're always just kind of disappointed. They're like, eh. What yeah, are you doing, bit. Saren? Disappointed. What are you doing, Demolition Sarah? Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! Oh, he isn't disarming. Is just press E and wait. <laughs> I like how they just run right next to you for a second and then they stop. Mm. Oh jeez! I keep pressing C to crouch. What game was I playing where I pressed C to crouch? Deus Ex. No, I'm playing Deus Ex. I can't remember. It's, it's kind of weird how you do that, though, where, like, you're just like, I know I've been playing a game recently where that was the layout. Uh -huh. Which one was it? Oh, yeah, and this is another thing that is horrible about this game and a lot of games like it. The snipers that you have to fight, who are just magic. Like, they just, they see you through walls, they're pinpoint accurate, they always hit, you're just, you're just dead when you fight them. You're gone. It's over. Might as well just give up. Oh, man, game over. Probably because they, like, I don't know, they, it would be really, wouldn't it be difficult for them to be, like, you know, having the Well, yeah, AI but it's like... ...target you in such a way that... It's just kind of like, it, it just doesn't really work well, and they kind of just probably shouldn't have had it at all. It's just sort of annoying. So they're just like, you know what, it's too hard to make them have, like, act like humans. Where like if they don't see you anymore, just, they have to try to find you. Did you just you. see that slide he was doing? Did you see that guy? I did, and it was funny. It was wonderful. 
That person's suit was blue for a split second. It's because his barrier was going on. All targets oh, okay. down. I yeah, like, um, what the fuck? I Why would you it, wear that? It's either his shield or his barrier, whatever it is. Um, Wouldn't that be the same thing? No, because uh, biotics, they can make a biotic barrier around their body that is just a really, really strong shield. Uh, like, they can make a shield? mini... Shield is like your suit's shields. And the, it's like a... Yeah, that is a kinetic barrier, I think, in Mass Effect, where it's like... It is a it is a little energy field made by your suit. Um, with biotics, they can make a Mass Effect field around their body that uh, that can block damage. Mass Effect. It's fucking uh, space magic or something. I don't know. Name of the game. Uh. What the fuck? Ashley. Was that thing just filled with weapons? It was. <laughs> Why I don't know. Just because. It was, it was just like in case you decided you didn't want your weapons anymore? Mm -hmm. Just in case. Let's just probably. Warp. <clears throat> and I remember in Mass Effect 2, um, putting skills on your skill bar would often cause your game to crash. Like, just. <clears throat> that, yeah, that's just. That's just how the game was shipped, and they were like, oh, this is fun. Oh, wait, I missed one over there. Fuck. <clears throat> <laughs> But yeah, it was just kind of like, I was always afraid to switch around skills, because the game would literally crash. It's not okay, and it was never fixed, I'm pretty sure. Was it the one that was on Steam they did that? Yeah, it must have been Steam, actually. It was Steam, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure it was Steam. Was it Steam? Because okay. I know that people who bought physical copies didn't have that issue. Okay, then it's just Steam. But I feel like that issue should have still been resolved, since Steam is kind of a big platform. <laughs> it's kind of a big deal. A little bit. Am I back on the... W yeah, I am. Okay. Yeah, wh where are you going? I don't know. I th Oh, yeah, I'm going over here, I think. Yeah. Yeah? Whatever, I'll just start shooting stuff, because in this game you have unlimited ammo. Yeah. But I actually liked Mass Effect 1's gun system better in terms of, like, ammo, where instead of having a limited supply, you just have your guns overheat. Which then made, and this is really nitpicking, it, it really is, is very nitpicky, um... In Mass Effect 2, they have the thermal clips, right? Where you now have to, like, actually reload your guns, because now you just pop your thermal clip or whatever. Um, when Shepard comes out of his cryo sleep or whatever, or, well, from being dead, rather, um... He immediately knows what a thermal clip is, and that he needs them to fire his gun. Even yeah. though in Mass Effect 1, he never ever used one, and he, there's no way he would know what they are. Also, apparently, apparently every gun in the galaxy, every single one, was recalled, uh, so that they could put thermal clips on them instead of have them fire unlimited. Yeah, um, every single one. Easy decryption. Oh yes, this. Oh yeah, it's just Frogger. Oh fuck, fuck, fuck. Uh, oh no, oh no. Uh. Oh yeah, I did it. I'm a winner. <laughs> did I, did, am I the win? Am I? Am I a winner? Yes, you did. You are. Are you, are you pride of me? Oh hey, medium armor. Can I wear medium armor? Well, like. In Mass Effect 2, they had... Didn't they have more of a selection of, like, weapons that could do a lot stronger things because they, they had do, that they limited system? They could do different system? things. Yeah, they, they had... Are you talking... Yeah, you're saying Mass Effect 2, right? Yeah. Is there anything I didn't loot? Um, yeah. It just... It had a, like, more interesting gun system, I guess, because more... It was capable of more. Because and I was, in this one, I was just the, at like, the beacon, super weapons, I, I, I was like, standing next to the beacon, and it's like, oh, everybody back away from the beacon so I can stare at it and then call somebody. So, oh yeah, that's all weird. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Actual working Prothean technology, unbelievable. Roger Normandy, standing by. It really just looks like a pillar with, like, stink gas coming off of it. It's like in Joe Dirt, where he finds the atomic bomb, and it's actually just a septic tank somebody slapped a sticker on. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what it was like. And this, it's like, oh wow, Prothean technology, and they're like, oh, it's actually just like a... It's a Prothean bidet. <laughs> Shepard! 
No, don't touch it. It's too late. It's just, it's like a big vacuum. And it's like, uh, let's show you things. And then it exploded for some reason. <laughs> My that, purpose has been done. That might Goodbye. have been explained. I think it's because her mind linked with it, and if it's not a Prothean mind that linked with it, then it pro causes problems. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Why would it force itself to link with her, then? I don't know, because it's fucking space magic. That's why. <laughs> you would think that this it, highly advanced race of people wouldn't just, time. like, let their secrets the go out. A human alliance My animations were made for a male skeleton, but BioWare forced me to use it, and it's painful. One of the humans mm. Look at my arms. <laughs> I can't push them in any more than this. Life is pain. And then he just starts getting angry. Like... God, Saren, man, settle down. Why, is it because he's like... It's like, because... It's, I mean, I, no, it's because he's supposed to be... It's like he's getting more and more taken over by... Uh, by Sovereign. That's kind of the point where, like... Oh, he reveals later... Basically, Sovereign, like, you know... Reapers indoctrinate people, right? But when Reapers Doctor, need certain people Doctor, who are really important, such as Saren, because the Geth see Saren as their messiah, um, it doesn't take over Saren's mind, because you if Saren's mind was taken it. over, it wouldn't be as useful, because he would you? just be a mindless, like, husk, you know, like the husks. Like the mm. morning after shore leave. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. Caden, shut the fuck up. What's up with your pity party? I better of you, Lieutenant. You my hair is phasing in with my head, Jesus Christ. So on him, <laughs> we have no idea if that's what actually set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. <laughs> He's like, a pity party, Williams instead of just being like, no, stop ship. it, it's fine, you're I like, yes, you, you fucked it up. Mm. Yep, Caden, yep, Caden, you fucked it up. Listen, you're better you don't get any rations today. Any hospital on <laughs> or you're right. You're you were right, Caden. I, I hope you're happy, Caden. You were right. Abnormal Actually, not. Have our extra I don't. Rations. I don't mind Caden, but Caden's kind of boring. His personality is not that interesting. But he's not nearly as bad as um as Jacob is in two. Jesus Christ. Death, destruction. Oh yeah. Jacob says two funny things that are in any way interesting, which are. Hmm. I add this um, to my report. It may it's like pissing yourself oh. in dark pants. How's our and. Um, he, really he, no, he says, victory is like pissing yourself in dark pants. That's what he says. Uh, and his romance scene, which is really fucking funny. Really? His romance scene, he walks into Shepard's quarters and just says, sneaking into the captain's quarters, heavy risk, but the prize. <laughs> you can find videos of it on YouTube. Just search, like, but the prize. You'll find it. It's wonderful. <laughs> But um, the prize. But the prize. I'm fine. I'll live. I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. I'm actually. I'm so yeah, Jenkins. That right that's now. terrible, sir. Um. Yeah. So anyway. The council's going to want Tell with them. Fuck the council. The council can kiss my ass. <laughs> but the prize. I won't let them blame me for losing the beacon. I didn't do anything wrong. I'll stand behind oh you and your boy, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren. That other Turian. Saren's a specter. One of the best. A living legend. Saren is not a ghost, but sir. Ghosts don't it exist. It means he's gone rogue. A oh, that kind of... Oh. <laughs> but dangerous. the... W welcome aboard the love humans. boat. <laughs> he didn't come to Eden Prime because he hates humans. Jacob You're Taylor right. feel, uh, featuring his presence in Jasmine. I don't know how. I don't know why. But it had something to do with that beacon. Let's see, and but then the in Mass Effect 2, your two stock you squad anything? mates, Jacob Any and Miranda, are both... Jacob's not an after? awful human being, he's just really, really boring. Miranda, her one redeeming quality is she has a nice ass. And that's uh -huh. it. And honestly, her it's weird, her um her voice actor is more attractive than she is. I, I will just say that right now. Yvonne Strahovski is way more attractive than they made her in uh, 
in Mass Effect 2. In Mass Effect 2, she's kind of just like... I don't know what, what is, is it? it? Yvonne Strahovski. Um, she's... In Mass Effect 2, the way they, like, did her proportions, there's, like, no elegance, I guess. Just before I lost consciousness. And, like, that is not how I expected her name to be spelled. Yeah. And, like, in real life, she just kind of, like, is a very... She's... She's got this elegance to her, in, in a way. Like, she's... She's not, it's weird. I don't know. She's like she. I find her way more attractive in real life than I do in the game. I don't know. You crushing on Yvonne? Not really. I just think yeah, she's hot. Maybe. How is? It? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you confuse me sometimes. We need to report. Also, this picture. I probably nice. wouldn't like. Okay, I would not spend a day with her in a room. Probably, it would be probably get annoying. I have no idea what her personality is, but like, if you were like, hey, you get to have sex with Yvonne Strahovski, I'd be like, oh well, that's cool. It's and kind then you would. To the point of, it's sort of like, um, Olivia Munn. I think Olivia Munn is one of the dumbest fucking human beings on the planet, but, uh, if, if she was gagged and had tape over her mouth and vowed not to even make a word, just not say anything, it'd be like, yeah, I'd hit it. They'll think I'm Damn, she's, she's she pretty is hot. one hot fucking chick. Story. Which one? Look at you, Yvonne. You yeah, I know she is. Ancient weapon of mass hmm? destruction. She what is. Whatever. I'm like looking at these pictures of her where she has like body art him. stuff instead of clothes. Uh -huh. And this one where she has boots on. Mm. They also made her face look fucking awful in Mass Effect 2. Although everybody's faces in Mass Effect look terrible, so that's not surprising. Yeah. Alright, I have to stop looking at these now. Alright, I'll come back. <laughs> Alright. Not if I can help it. I'll find someone to take him down. It's not that doesn't seem like something Renegade Shepard would say. He can go anywhere. Do almost That's too yeah. optimistic. That's why we need the council on our side. They should have just made Renegade like really depressing, just like <laughs> just like a really depressed Shepherd, like just a very nihilistic Shepherd that's just like uh, whatever. Uh, the Geth will gonna, probably gonna, kill all of them anyways before we get the there. I don't care. But council will. Oh, uh, the Geth were already here. Eden Prime's I'll done for. Humanity is lost. If he can get us an audience with the council. It's like, I mean, they're fucking... It's like, Shepard, like Sar Saren's a traitor. Head up to the bridge and tell I don't, I don't, I don't feel like dock. going across the galaxy today. I don't, I don't really... Uh... Like, I mean, if I he mean, comes I'll... here and he's, like, messing shit up, then I guess I'll I, so, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll like, go I'll, I'll get the him. cannons and blow it up or something. Oh, yeah, there was Caden. I, I don't feel like fucking talking to Caden. Fuck you. Um, all right, And yet you go him. back anyway. <laughs> Oh yes, this was a nice thing that they removed from Mass Effect 2, which was the elevator sequences. This is the... Yeah. Except in Mass Effect 1, they're necessary for loading. So it's like, well, yeah. They should improve, they optimize the loading processes. Oh yeah, this is where Rex would normally be. Rex. We have to wait for Rex. How did I spin around again? You have to like, you gotta stop. I know in Mass Effect oh, Two you can do it. Where you if can you just... think about it though, where like you didn't just change your squad members' equipment, it's like, it, you know, obviously something that wouldn't happen in a game hey, or like happen outside of a game because it'd be like, not right now, why, please. why is all my stuff different? Like I had these things for a reason. <laughs> and it's like, no, nope, not this is better. Trust me, no, trust me. Come on. It's sort of like when I'm playing an RPG, like Skyrim, for instance, or an RPG, like Skyrim. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. Um, a, what do you call Skyrim? Kind of like a, a, a clicky button shield bash it. game or something. Um, an RPG like Skyrim. Yes. I got, I'm going to put it on your tombstone. Yes. I hope you realize this. I, no, I'm good with that. Just an RPG like Skyrim. Just... <laughs> The phenomenal, just phenomenal RPGs like Skyrim. Um, anyway, uh, something from the Codex I just got. Uh, anyway, what are they saying? <laughs> when I'm playing a game like Skyrim, I was going to say Skyrim, and then games like Skyrim where there's no substance and I'm forced to roleplay if I want to play it because I'm autistic as fuck and keep playing Elder Scrolls games because I am too invested in the series to stop. Um, I just kind of like... When I'm picking up new armor, I'm like, oh wait, what would, like, in reality, why would my character, like, put on this new set of armor besides the fact that the stats are better? 
because like I always pick like certain outfits a character would have, and that sounds autistic as fuck. I know, and it is. I mean, if you're really trying to role play, then it makes sense. Just stare at him, Sh or don't stare at him. Just look away. And pretend you're not staring at him, but you are, Shepard. By the way, you've been hearing me this entire time, haven't you? Yes. Okay, so I just realized that my mic was off, but obviously that doesn't matter because this thing just turns off for no reason and it will not actually be off. I'm gonna go talk to Seth Green. Good timing, Commander. I was just about Why? to bring this into the city. Why would you do that? Because Seth Green's a nice guy. He makes shitty TV shows, but he's a nice guy. I guess. And the th I always thought the mass relays were pretty cool. Just in I like there. how I like that they kept the entire design of the mass relays uh -huh. in the second one. Well, they overall kept the same designs, you just went like, okay, so like the armor, they could do some things to kind of bulk it up a little bit to make it look cooler and, you know, give Shepard broader shoulders and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, but they could have, they could have made them entirely, like, different, all the things, and been like, oh, all this stuff has changed now and it looks different and new, but they didn't. They kept no, they stuck pretty, with the same style, like, and I thought that was nice, because it, like, they changed things to look, I didn't think, like, in Mass Effect I would say Mass Effect 2, yeah. This, it did look better. It just looked better. It really did. But the designs were the same. Yeah, this music, this music that is playing right now, I don't know if you can hear it because I don't think you have the sound on on the uh, stream, but the music that plays when you're flying into this Citadel, it's just like this, this fanciful music that's like, look at this marvel. Look at how beautiful this is, and it's... Yeah, I just turned it on for a second to listen to it. And it, it gets you, nice. it gets you like, it puts you in the mood of like, wow, this is really like a kind of interesting, like, it's space. Look how great it is and stuff. I don't know. I know. You know what I'm it's, talking about. It's like, it's like movie music. Yeah, it, well, no, it's not, I wouldn't say it's movie music, but it's like, it's music that fits with the this game really well outrage. and the gives you a good idea. Get like, it, it gets you immersed better in what's going on. The don't well, isn't that just what movie music is? It's just a really awesome music that's supposed to fit in with what's going on. Uh, so you're like, I mean, it's wow, su it's supposed shit. to, but movie music isn't that great. I don't think most of the time, and it's just kind of like this cool orchestral thing where it's like in this, it just sort of like the soundtrack fits itself, like fits well into certain things and like really well. I, I thought I could probably think of a couple of movies that had like just really great soundtracks to them. Captain, I would have to fucking I guess them up, though. I'm, yeah, I guess. I guess I just don't pay as much attention just to movie soundtracks. It's probably what it is. In case you had any questions. Mm. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate. I paid like for they certain are. things like um Sounds like you can I do, I will notice in a movie if they're using the soundtrack they poorly. Happy about it. Serens, I coming. will notice that. They don't like him. Yes, that's true. Like if it's just really di you can have a dissonant soundtrack in a good way, but most of the time it's bad. I'm not going to sit on my mm -hmm. ass just because the council doesn't want to do anything. They won't stop Saren, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done Settle down, Shepard. To Shepard, you don't need to get the riled up the mission in the cit Not in the Citadel, Shepard. Shepard, no. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead Shepherd's and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the c -Sec investigation turns up evidence to support... I actually always liked Udina in the sense, like, I thought his voice actor did a really good job and gave the character the proper personality for what you were supposed to get from it. It's like, yeah, he does sound like somebody that's, you know, he fits his character. He fits his character. And it's also like, the more you pay attention to him, he's kind of just like, the guy who is there to make sure that all of your papers are, like, basically that... Every Everything at least that you do is covered up enough that it flies under the radar to a point. Like he's he is there to help you even though he doesn't act like it. In a way. Probably because he has to make sure that he keeps up appearances. He can't huh? just be like, eh, you know, whatever, because you never know who's listening. Let's go hack people's computers in the Citadel. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> just in plain view of people, just be like, yeah. Alliance Patrol report. Captain Hendrickson reported some unusual energy readings during a patrol of the Argos Row cluster. She had particular concerns about the Hydra system, but was recalled before her team could investigate further. 
No patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do we want to send in a recon team? Don't worry, I will go into the recon. He's like, wait, this was a confidential thing, Shepard. How did you know about it? He's like, oh, well. <laughs> you I see. Have sources. Yes. Oh, yes, the the, uh, the Hanar Embassy. Not the Hanar Embassy, the uh, Elcor Embassy. <laughs> the Hanar Embassy? <laughs> Why? What? No, this is the Elcor Embassy. The Hanar Embassy is somewhere else because the Hanar are the. the um, Blobby jellyfish people. Yeah. Who speak actually within within universe they speak in what would be considered the Microsoft Sam voice. I well because you walked into the room and I was like, those don't look like Hanar. Yeah, those are Elcor. I just said it wrong because I forgot I haven't played in a while and I forgot the name. That is a Volus. The Din Korlak. Earth Space Clan, Jews. You are in the wrong place, I Space think. Jews. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. I kind of would have liked to deal with them more. Don't be so. And have a Volus that was not a running joke, at least. Mm -hmm. Like the Elcor and the Volus are there to be the running joke and be the butt monkey of everything, kind of. And I feel like they could have, they could have made a Volus that was kind of like a corrupt businessman that was actually kind of cool, in a way. They maybe could have done it. But, but they, they did. I mean, it's not like the game. It's not related to the game's detriment Goodbye, that they didn't. Ambassador. But it's, yes, it would have been cool. Yes. Good day. Uh, and then there's a keeper. Um, I am pretty sure that the keepers in yeah the keepers in Mass Effect are. Well, let me. How do I put away my fucking weapon again? God, oh, it's Q. Q. Um, the keepers in Mass Effect are inspired by, and I'm pretty sure they are. Um, you ever play Planescape? Like the, I don't know. like the, I don't know if you is it like the, the RPG, like it's like a D and D thing. I think I might have. Um, and then there's also the one game, um, Planescape Torment. Um, in Planescape, there are these guys. They're called uh, fuck. What are they called? Because I never actually I read about Planescape, but I never played it. Um, they're these guys that basically just kind of work in 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 sigil. Is it sigil? I think it's sigil. Is the place in Planescape, and basically the keepers in Mass Effect are those. They're pretty much the same. Greetings. Are they like Welcome miners the and studio. stuff? That they they have, are. They are like workers that are just there, and they're always there, and you can't understand them. They don't talk to you, and the main thing is just don't touch them. Like just. Yeah. In this, it's basically like don't touch them because the Citadel does not like it, and they will they will reprimand you for it. In Sigil, it's if you touch them, um, the they will lady kill of you. the no, the lady of pain will probably kill you in a, in a completely impossible and tremendously painful way, or the throw you in an pain. infinite maze. I don't need a guide. <laughs> Either Is one of those. The lady of pain, uh, a goddess. Um, a brief orientation session. All but in name, Please kind of the lady of pain. Right um. If you call her a goddess, that actually tempts her fa tempts her, uh, and probably will have her kill you. She hates being called a god. Oh. <laughs> I'll pass. I apologize if you found my service <laughs> unsatisfactory. Please Why? Are, so are the, are the workers are, like, maybe her children or something? They're board. something, nice but nobody day. really knows, and that's kind of just it. Yeah. <laughs> it's the mystery of it. Where am I going? I don't remember. Citadel Tower, I guess? Is that where I guess I'm going there. Um... Yeah, they're kind of just like... It's pretty much just that entire universe is if you see the Lady of Pain walking around. Don't fuck with the Lady of Pain, please. Just don't. <laughs> don't even say hi. Ashley, you were, why were you invisible? <laughs> did you just see that? I did. What the fuck? Your investigation is over, Garrus. Okay, so now we'll see Garrus's face. Okay. Oh, now it doesn't look that bad. That's weird. Commander Shepard? Oh yeah, yeah, no, I now it does. See, look, it sort of just like looks weird, doesn't it? Like it's just kind of really low res for what that is. Like, yeah, it doesn't look like it should. Part. Yeah, it doesn't look like it should be, but it is. At that, yeah, as mm -hmm. I explained before, you don't like Saren. You blew it. Sounds like you came up empty. You blew it. Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid, but I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. It's very Good strange much. because I'm so Maybe used to his to look in Mass Effect 2 now. Uh huh. Yeah, he's basically just like he got hurt and then he never fixed it. Well, 
Actually, well, within the game terms, they actually probably could have fixed it, because you get a thing that fixes skin injuries. And they just Do you? don't... I thought that was only for Shepard. Yeah, but you buy it for Shepard. It never says that, like, you can't use it on other people, and it just doesn't let you. It's just like, oh, you can't. Look at this guy. I don't know. He's chilling. like a he's a neo Cuban. Space Cubans. Mm-hmm. And here's this guy. He doesn't let you shoot people, unfortunately. It's not that kind of game. No, but you can shoot all around him. You can shoot all around, nobody cares, but uh you can just walk up, you know, whatever. Yeah, Hearing's already started. Come on. Were the subtitles supposed to be there? Are they always there? I'm pretty no. sure you've had them on for a while. No, I'm saying like they were like up at the top, and they're normally at the bottom. by Citadel Security. Oh yeah, see now it's at the bottom again. Yeah. I think it was just sometimes they put them at the top or the bottom. This is okay. Kill Nihilus in cold blood. Yeah, I would imagine the Turian face that. thing uh, probably went the for all of them. Testimony of one traumatized mm -hmm. dock worker. Is hardly compelling proof. I think they put it on the top of that one scene just because they thought maybe your eyes would be trained up more upwards because they were going upstairs. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must And let me remind you that I am not evil. The one who let the destroyed. And I repeat, definitely not. That was you, not me. You're the one who destroyed the beacon, then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson. He's taught you well. You're a liar. You that was Caden. A human. Also, there's a basically a thing where, like, he hates humans. Originally, it said he hates humans because humans, like, I think it was, like, his somebody he knew died, or a bunch of people he knew died when in, like, the contact wars or whatever, when they first met the humans or whatever. But then you can... There's a comic they had where you figure out Saren was just always a dick. <laughs> like, he never wasn't. Me to kill you the next time we meet. Your species a good, to good job, Shepard. Say that in front of the You're fucking Galactic Council that is hiring you to be part of it, kind of. Like, just They're hiring you to be a secret agent. You just told them that... You just you just threatened death to their poster boy. So good job, Shepard. no purpose. Good job. Humans are wasting your time, counselor, and mine. You arrogant you can't bastard! You hide behind the council forever. I didn't say you There's arrogant bastard. Outstanding you fucking Bioware. Commander Shepard's vision. <laughs> didn't let me say that exactly. Actually, I would have are liked we that. Allowing dreams into evidence now. How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. How are we allowing dreams must be based into on evidence? Facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander? Like how Saren just kind of says things and then never backs them up. Mm-hmm. You know that. But I mean... Yeah. You've made your decision. But I mean... I waste my Shepard breath. was just dreaming. You know. The Council has found you no... See, that would have been a really good, depressing Shepard moment. Just... What's the point? <laughs> the petition to have him disbarred from the Who cares? But that's not what she said, so... Shepard, can you go and, like, stop the Reapers? It's like, I just... I, I just don't... I don't... I just... I don't know. I don't, I'm not feeling it today. Maybe tomorrow. It was a mistake well, bringing you into that tomorrow. hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too you much history. You both know it. It's gonna be laying on my cuff eating ice cream. cream. I know Saren. Space ice cream. He's working with the Geth for mm. one Space reason. cream. To exterminate the entire it never race. melts. Mm -hmm. Every colony we have is at risk. Every it world it, it does is in give danger. you cancer, Even though. Earth isn't safe. Well, I mean, so does a lot of things. Uh, but especially this. But I mean, it's we worth it. It doesn't melt. Ourselves. As a specter, mm -hmm. he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. It's very lewd, What about you know? Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the executive. <laughs> That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. <laughs> Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. He's a Turian. Him. I don't want him on our side. Not all Turians are like Saren. If he can help, we need to find him. I don't trust him. I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His 
name is Harkin. Again, he's a damn they tyrant. Harkin yeah. last month, drinking on the job. <laughs> oh yeah, you can actually time. deny Garrus in your party. To. I don't want the in Mass Effect 1. Past history with Seren, like, you have to go out of your way to do it, but you totally can. This. And what does that do for you in the long run? Nothing at all. Business. <laughs> it's it's just a role-playing option where it was the, it would would have been a time where you were like, oh, well, if you want to make a shepherd that just fucking hates aliens, then you can. Except it doesn't even matter, because then with the rest of the game, you can't deny anyone else that is an alien. So it doesn't matter. So it's like, oh, I just denied this one guy for no reason. Can't... Do you Just have a person from like the first game that I can go, go into the second game? Good luck, Shepard. I'll be what do you mean? The ambassador's office like you know how the second can go on into the third? Uh huh. You can do that from the first into the second. What do you mean? I'm, I'm not following. A char a character. Like your so you can character can go from yes. one to two. Yes. So then, if you denied Garrus in the first one. Then what happens in the second one? Is he just like, hey, I remember you from that one time. No, the, uh, the you know the encounter away. where you first see him in two? Yeah. N almost nothing changes besides the fact that he goes, oh, hey, Shepard, what are you doing here? That's like, it? Yeah, it's l nothing changes otherwise. Absolutely that nothing. That guy's up to something. That guy's up to something. Look at him. Look at him, Caden, what do you think? Here. What do you think? I, I don't care about your opinion, Ashley. Shut the fuck up. What? <laughs> just, no, what guy? Never mind. Okay. I didn't see any guy. I was I was not rubbing the keeper or anything. It's it's beautiful. Um, yes, it's spindly legs. I love it. I wasn't doing that though. <laughs> Why are you so interested? Just to in the make keepers? it clear. Keepers. I've got no interest in a keep don't get coy. And oh yeah, this is something the game I mean, should just either not do or do properly. Should be talking to you when characters this. are clearly like, you know, he says like, oh, I'm not doing anything with the key, and then it was supposed to be that he would then be interrupted by Ashley. However, there is the delay where he just kind of stops, and then she starts talking. Yeah. And it reminds me of doing a fucking like high school play where they have to do lines like that, and it's like, okay, when it has the dash, the person who talks next interrupt the person. Don't wait until they say, well, I mean, and then wait five seconds and then start your line, you fucking moron. Just tell me what you're this doing. This has happened quite a bit, I imagine. Yes. A lot, actually. Right. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the keepers. I'm sorry, friend. So far, I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. I see. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically, we're not supposed to disturb the keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. Technically, like we're not there's a guy in the background. Look at that guy. Yeah, I know. The badass. I can help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. He's like, yep, yeah, nope. I don't yeah. even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activated each time you see a keeper. What was he All supposed to do with the keepers anyway? Oh, he's just collecting I'll data from them to figure out how they scan. function. Because they literally don't know what they do. Yes, I have oh, like, they're just myself. A, they know that they, they walk around and they fix the things and they rearrange things on the Citadel, but they don't know, like, how... Like, they don't even know how they're made. Like, when they die, for, first of all, you can't examine their bodies, because if they are hurt at all, like, if they're hurt, or they die, their bodies just literally, like, disintegrate, so that you can't. Uh, and so when they, where do they get these fucking things, then? If they, they, know they, come, they come from the center of the Citadel, like, from the core, and they can't get there, and they have no idea how they're made. That's really weird. I don't know, the Citadel is not, like, a thing that they built, is it? They, when, I think it's when the Asari... When the Asari, because they were the first spacefaring species in the galaxy, I'm pretty sure, they first found yeah. it, and the Keepers were already there, and they pretty much just welcomed them into the Citadel. Um, I, I don't know if you know, the, well, since you played 2, you probably know how the plot goes. Basically, um, the Citadel is there because uh, it was built by... I can't remember who's built it. I, no, it was built by... Either the Prothean... It's, actually, it is not really known who built it. They just know that its purpose is to serve the Reapers. And the, when the Reapers come, they use it to open up a giant portal to all of the mass relays so that they can get around the galaxy really fast and um, exterminate everything. Huh. 
And the whole point of having the citadel there is um, so that a bunch of the spacefaring species that find it, then, it, like, the mass relays, because they don't know who built the mass relays, it's not likely it was the Protheans, because it's really old. Um, I, I think it's not likely it's the Protheans. Um, but it's all built out there so that spacefaring species that find it and civilizations and stuff, they all, like, organize themselves around that specific area because that's where they can go with the mass relays because that's how they do faster than light travel so that when the reapers come they're always in the same places so it's easy to harvest them and then it then didn't go beyond that where it's like oh the reapers just want to kill everything for some strange purpose but you wouldn't be able to cop as sovereign tells you you wouldn't be able to comprehend it it should have left it there what was the other reason? In Mass Effect 2, it reveals, oh, basically they take, they exterminate everything, and then they take the race that they think is the specialist, which is the humans, um, and then they distill it into a uh, big pudding and make it into a big reaper. Oh, yeah, okay. And in Mass Effect 2, they basically make the Terminator, but really big. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about um, that. <laughs> yeah. That's that's how that goes. Yeah, because then and then you fight the Terminator at the end. Yeah, you fight like, the Terminator. Oh. You fight the Terminator. You do. Except, and it's except just... he doesn't have any cool lines. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he just kind of like makes noises and stuff. Yeah, no, uh, I'll be back or you know. Welcome to Precision Tourism Terminal Two. Wait, you was that? <laughs> it was a Terminator. I don't remember. <laughs> Which thing? The keepers are essential. Just, do you remember when I said I'd kill you last? Yeah. Have a pleasant day. Uh, that was. Was that Judge Dredd? I don't think that was Judge Dredd. I think that was, um... Uh, that was... I, th I remember there was a guy... It might have just been a reference to something else, but I remember a cowboy... S there was, like, the, the the bandit who said it in, um... Wagons East. Oh. I think that was a reference to something, though, since Wagons East was a, like, comedy that borrowed from a few things. Um... It's a funny movie, actually. John Candy. <laughs> John Candy before he died of uh, being very large and on cocaine. <laughs> large in charge and on cocaine. Lots of it. Died. I think I'll end it here, because I'm kind of out of steam. Yeah. So, yeah. Me too.